to do one zero eyes and smiles and frozen students nice job boys and girls all right so we've been talking for a few weeks about one point perspective drawing and we practiced for a couple weeks and we started last week on our our big project the room that we're making and uh, we got, let's see, well, some people got a little further than I had expected, like this example here, look at this. And they really, they really took a stab at creating all these shapes and furniture and even this marlin on the wall here where they did a great job because it's larger here and it gets smaller as it goes back towards the vanishing point. So it does go in that line. So they did a good job with that. All right, boys and girls. Let's go back and revisit our three types of lines. And that's the most important part to all of this. That's the biggest secret that every single line you're going to do today is going to be either vertical, straight up and down, horizontal, side to side, or orthogonal. And that would be uh, aiming at or could be drawn to the vanishing point. So until you really have this down, don't try any other type of lines. Definitely no diagonal lines. Of course, when you get to something like this, you're going to have to start using some different kind of lines. But wait, wait until you have that down completely and you feel very comfortable that you're doing it correctly. Okay, so just want to show you this one more time to remind you of this. So we have our vertical lines straight up and down like that. Horizontal lines are side to side. Horizontal, oh, that's not horizontal, 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 horizontal. Then we have our orthogonal. You see the dashed lines? Orthogonal lines pointing or aiming at or could be drawn to the vanishing point. Look at that. Most of our lines, all of our lines that aren't either going horizontal or vertical are drawn to the vanishing point like that. See the top of the dresser? Top of that shape, bottom. Great. Okay, vanishing point right there. Okay, so where did we leave off last week? We left off about right here. And I want to remind you to draw very lightly today because we have to erase a lot. So be very careful. We, I, I showed you how to draw a couple shapes. These could be dressers. A couple shapes over there. I asked you not to draw the, uh, the drawers, the chest of drawers there, or the shelves here. Don't do that yet because we're going to talk about that today. In fact, today I would like to talk about making shelves, drawers, carpet, bed, uh, pictures, win a window, and maybe some other things. We'll, we'll see how much time we have. Okay, so the first things first is let's take a look at this shape right here. If you were going to make this a dresser, you'd want to put some drawers on the front. So the common mistake here, guys, very common mistake is to draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. That's very common, but that's not how you do it. On the side, on the front, that would be fine. But on the sides of these shapes of these, this furniture, they're going to be, the lines are going to be orthogonal, just like the top, just like the bottom. Remember the orthogonal goes, aims towards the vanishing point. So to draw those drawers, Remember, I have to use a marker so you can see it on the screen. I don't have the luxury of being able to erase, but you are using a pencil. All right, so what you are going to be doing, if you're doing a drawer, is you line up your ruler with the vanishing point and wherever you want the top of the drawer to be, and you draw, oh boy, oh no. You hold on to your ruler tight so it doesn't move, and you draw that line towards the vanishing point. Not sure I did a very good job with that one. Then vertical. 
vertical line like that, vertical, to the vanishing point. See that? Lined up to the vanishing point. I'm not going to be able to hold my ruler at the same time. So let's try over here. Vertical, vertical, mm, to the vanishing point. It looks like it would go there. Pretty close anyway. Vertical, vertical, to the vanishing point. So that's orthogonal. Orthogonal. There we go. And then you can put your little handles right in the middle. All right. Say you want to do a set of shelves. So right over here, you would uh, draw a vertical line. Remember, vertical straight up and down, no diagonals at all. This is orthogonal. Orthogonal. And where do you want your shelf to be? Maybe right in the middle. That's orthogonal. Remember, going to the vanishing point. And that looks pretty good right there, except for maybe the inside of the shelf. You want to draw a horizontal, horizontal line like that. And maybe that shelf has some thickness. How's that look? All right, let's see. How about we draw a carpet at the very bottom? Maybe right here, a little carpet. So this line is going to be orthogonal. Oh boy, it's hard to hold the ruler at the same time. Here we go. And orthogonal on this side. And horizontal. Oh boy. Not sure I can do it, guys. I have to put my. Hold on one second. Thank you. All right, so there's your carpet. You can see I didn't draw that line far enough, so I'll just continue that along. Same thing with over here. And there's your carpet. We've got an orthogonal line here, orthogonal line there, and two horizontal lines. All right, how about a bed in our bedroom? Watch how you do this. Coming straight off the wall. I'm not going to be able to use the ruler anymore, but... But I will try my best to get these lines straight without the ruler. So a horizontal line for the bottom of the bed. Oh boy, it sure would look better with the ruler, wouldn't it? Oh gosh. Horizontal line. Vertical line, about as high as I want my bed to go. Maybe about that tall. Maybe the bed sticks out just a little bit further. Vertical. So, so far I just made horizontal line, a vertical line, another horizontal line, so I've got a rectangle there. All right, now time for some orthogonal lines. Orthogonal to the vanishing point like that, orthogonal to the vanishing point, and vertical, horizontal. orthogonal to the vanishing point. Now that's our basic bed. You might want to round off the corners just a little bit so it's not so much of a, of a rectangular prism. Round off the corners, which I can't really do with the marker. You're going to want to erase that line, erase that line, like that. And if you want a headboard, you just extend that line straight up, vertical, orthogonal, and back down vertical. Like this. Maybe you want some wheels or a little post on the bottom like this. You raise your bed up off the floor. All right, let's look at a picture on the wall. Maybe you want to do a picture on the wall. Maybe this wall right here. All right, so you're going to have two, oh boy, two orthogonal lines like this. And well, I'll just do one for now. One orthogonal line, 
a vertical line, another vertical line. It's not going to be a very tall picture, is it? Like that so far. And this last line is going to be orthogonal, like that. I'm do that. And there's your picture on the wall. Let's say you want to do a window way back here on the back wall. You want to do a window back there. Watch this. Since it's on the back wall, it's easy. We just have a horizontal line like this. Maybe another horizontal line like this. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> now a couple of vertical lines like that. So we have horizontal. Horizontal, vertical, vertical. So to get some depth in there, so it looks more like a like a window and less like a picture. Watch what we're doing here. Orthogonal, just a little bit. Orthogonal, just a little bit. Orthogonal, just a little bit. Uh, you can't see that side. And then vertical, horizontal, vertical. Whoops horizontal. So you're you're watching me not use a ruler and I'm not doing a great job. So you definitely want to use a ruler for this. There's your window. Uh, let's see what else can we do? What else could we have in our room? Oh, maybe a little side room, maybe a doorway to to another room. So watch how I would do this completely vertical this line like this see that this would be horizontal side to side horizontal like that horizontal you would erase this and erase that and now you have a little cutout is that horizontal a little opening to another room right there all right well i think that's it for today guys you can explore and and create and be as creative as you want to and put whatever you want to in your rooms just remember those three were rules Let's see if i can find that paper three rules about your lines your lines should be either vertical horizontal or orthogonal no other lines will work today unless you've got this and you've got it and you want to try some some things that i put in my example here if you think that you've got it you're doing a great job and now you want to try some some interesting objects inside your room like the surfboard maybe some um i'm not even sure what you'd call that but some drapery over your bed maybe some drapes maybe you want to throw a guitar look i i included a mirror here with the reflection of this side of the room maybe a little shelf up there uh, maybe a cutout to another room where you can see the other room if you want to put wood slats in your room you just draw those lines orthogonal lines to your vanishing point and um, at some point when you're all finished you're going to erase your vanishing point so nobody knows that your secret and um, maybe you want to put a little flower pot like my little vincent van gogh version of his sunflowers and uh all right boys and girls i can't wait to see your creations this week just finished drawing next week you will color everything and we may be finished next week so i'm so excited all right boys and girls there's a chance we won't be finished so um check back with me if you're at home all right bye boys and girls great job today i can't wait to see your creations bye sitting in your house in quarantine getting old fast and you're losing steam break out a piece of paper crayons and a pencil tune in mr allison's youtube channel so kobe 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 you don't bother me gonna make some art for everyone to see